In today's video, I'm going to show you some of my favourite spins and I really hope you like them. As always, make sure you have been safely taught how to do any of these moves before giving them a go. Mermaid spin! To give yourself a nice big spin, make sure your legs are really, really super straight before crunching into a ball as small as possible, as fast as possible. Wrist seat spin. Try not to let your outside thigh touch the pole as you come into this spin as that will slow you down dramatically and also it's gonna be a bit pinchy. So it's just that outside hand pushing and that inside hand pulling. Post spin. This one can be super frustrating until you manage to get that leg through. So I think about my inside knee coming towards my inside shoulder before I poke my toes through the gap and hold that post spin. Similar to the wrist seat spin, I try not to let my legs touch the pole until I'm trying to land the spin. Outside step into a tabletop. The transition in the middle can be a bit tricky as you're switching your hands over and taking your outside hand underneath the inside leg. Once you've got used to that little swizzle and change of the hands, it should hopefully feel nice enough to take your standing leg off of the floor before coming into your tabletop with your outside hand underneath your back. As you're super low to the floor, it's a really nice one to try out, knowing that you can just take both feet to the floor if you need to come out of this move quickly. Juliet spin. This spin is beautiful, but it can be a little bit tricky. So really think about that inside leg kicking forward as much as you can, but you have to take your hips from one side of the pole to the other side of the pole before hooking back behind the outside knee. Genie spin. This one is a great way to get used to your genie from low down the pole. You can do this move from standing, but I like to walk into it to give me a little bit more momentum. So you end up hooking the leg that was the outside and becomes the inside before sitting your bum back. If you think about pushing your hips backwards into an imaginary chair, it really helps you lift up into the genie. And you might not have loads of grip behind the bottom knee, but it should hopefully be enough to hold your genie. Wine glass spin. It doesn't matter how flexible you are to do this spin. You can hold towards your ankle, towards your knee or towards your thigh or not hold that outside leg at all. And you can do it two handed if you don't feel confident one handed. Make sure you're hooking the inside of the inside leg and keeping the outside leg straight in this spin for as long as possible. And then you can bring the outside leg to the floor when you're ready to stand up. Cup grip spin or monkey spin. I just like the feeling of this one. I like feeling like I'm gonna fly. So I take my bottom hand in a thumb up grip or a cup grip and I take my top hand in a cup grip. So the outside hand comes above the inside hand as you jump up. And there are loads of different leg variations depending on what you want to add on. For now, I'm just bending my outside leg, but you can keep both legs straight, both legs bent. You can have one in front of the other. It really doesn't matter. So just feel like you're flying around the pole and enjoy this one. Jump into a reverse grab. This one's a cute little way to get a bit more height on a spin that hopefully you're feeling confident with. Again, I walk into this one inside, outside, inside before I then take my outside hand onto the pole and jump up taking my inside hand as high as possible. When you've jumped up, it's up to you what you do, but I like to straddle my legs coming back into a reverse grab. But there are so many moves you can add on once you've done this little jump. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is always one of my favorite spins as long as you have plenty of room around the pole. I like to bend my inside leg and keep the outside leg super straight. So think about squeezing your quads pointing your toes and lifting that leg up nice and high. If you like this one, a nice variation or a nice add on to this is a dolphin spin where both legs are super straight, but otherwise you're in the same position, pulling with the top arm and pushing with the bottom arm. Thank 
thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more entries or exits into different spins, I've got that for you as well. Bye now.